Welcome back to the channel. Today I bought this LT180, just like this. Transmission out of it, sitting over here on the bench. Transmission slips, uh, doesn't go uphill at all. See if we can make it go. All right, I'm gonna drain the oil out of it, see what it looks like. If it's dirty or if it's low. It's a bit low, but still good. A lot of metal filings in there. Dude, he's black. Minutes later. I'm gonna take all these bolts off here. It looks plugged. I'm gonna magnet right here. Full of filings. Take this off here. Yeah, this surface is a little war. No play there whatsoever. Oh, that's good. Now, this pump here, supposed to be a pin in there. It just fell off. A little war there, not that bad. I got 1500 grit sandpaper here, wet sandpaper, so I'm gonna wet it. Circular pattern here. Make sure it's clean. That looks really good. I like it. Five minutes later. That looks good enough for me. I'll do this side here. You can see this one's a little war right here. Let's see if we get that smooth. I'm getting there. That's the best I'm gonna get it. It looks good. Five minutes later. Yeah, that looks good. Clean off the excess silicone here. I'll put some degreaser in there. That yeah, looks pretty good there. I'll clean up a little bit later with the brake cleaner. I clean every groove here, everywhere, with my fingernail. And all the silicone's gone. I'm just gonna clean this a little bit. I clean the silicone around here as best I could. Uh, take this gear apart here. And the here on the side. Uh, 
fucking skaters here. But, uh, oh, no good. All chips. These are the war. That's war, too. Mm. There's somewhere in the pins, too. I just want to spray it down, clean it up good. Later. All right, these two goes on the underneath here. They should see. I should be able to uh, feel it and snap in there. There you go. Feel that? It's all the bearing race. The bearing. And the, the spring. I got these set of gears on my spare transmission. They're in really good shape. Put these pins in here. Stick them in here. Pull this out till I see a first groove. Which is right there. It goes in. Slam it in. There's wire marks on this side, so this this side goes on this side. And this side do the same. Pull the side till you see a groove. So this gear here is indented inside, so it goes on this side, the shorter axle. This one's full, this one's half, half goes on the inside. So I'll clean all them already. And they're all good, there's no, there's no play in these. All right, degrease this, and uh, I put my neutral pin in here. I kind of lost it there, so I had to buy a new one. Just gonna stick it in here with hard grease so it doesn't go anywhere. I'm just gonna put a little bit of semi lube here. It's just camshaft lifter lube. You can use oil, anything, but uh, these hydrostatics are pretty close the same. The one different is that these LT models here, this goes in like this. But on the LA models, this is flipped around, goes in like this. So if you use a transmission out of LA or, or a D series, you have to take it apart, take, take this out, switch this walker and put it in. Because if you press forward, the tractor will go reverse. I'll lose that washer. I'm gonna put this neutral pin all the way in. And this is your neutral rod here. It has to be this way. So you don't crush that pin. Install it like this. Okay, now I'm gonna compress it this way and down. pin yep this is 
little strain on here. Gotta check that neutral rod again. Good move. Make sure the bearing lines up here. It's all the way in, so I'm gonna check my uh, neutral rod if, if it works here. Just push it, it should push out. Yep, yeah, right there. See it? Okay. Not for me. Clean the filter already. Let's go there. And the brake pads. You see the wear marks there. Now we gotta clean your one of your magnets here as best as you can. Still metal filings there, but you can't get them off. I'm just gonna try to get them off with another magnet here. That's pretty good. All right, so I degreased the, the case. I'm gonna spray some brake cleaner on the rag here. So I'm gonna go all the way around. Case here. Okay, I'm gonna put some gasket maker here. Honda Bond is the best. Go to Honda. Well, you gotta say you want Honda Bond gasket maker. But uh, this Perma Permatex uh, gasket maker, good. And whatever is a ridge, that's where you're gonna put some. All right, I went around everywhere. Here, here. Here, all the every bolt, all the way around there. Check again, make sure it's clean. Yeah. All right, I'll let it like I'm gonna leave it like that for 24 hours. Fill it with uh, 5W50 synthetic oil or castrol. Now I fill it up with oil. And I'm gonna, it's supposed to be 22 to 25 mil. And I've got 15 mil. So I've got a little too much oil in there, but I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna prime it. Neutral off this way, and it don't matter which way you press it this way or that way, it doesn't really matter. So spin this uh, clockwise. Did go down 19 mil, so I got too much oil in there. I'm gonna take some out. Just touching the new one. That's perfect. Alright, don't forget, put your magnet, clean it really good. Put the cap on here. Alright, this one has these two spaces here. I have a tractor here. Oh, that's here. Put that here. All right, I'll put this my rear end here on top of the tire here. There's a rod here. 
This one here goes, right, this is hole here. And this one goes right here. Not much room to play with. So this belt goes on top of this bracket here, and then you can put it around your, your transmission. A little shock. Let me put the bolt on here. All right, I'm gonna try and put the bolt here on there. Put the bolts in here. this back on that wasn't fun put the spring back on here put the clip here in the washer there you go Material, fix it right up. About, uh, I don't know, four or five hours to do. If you like this video, press thumbs up below. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.